Светофор. Продавница низких цен. Low price store. A lot of cars, that means a lot of people are buying here. That's the entry. Hello everyone, in this video I would like to record Svitafor, another also Russian uh, store you can say, or in Russian, I don't know if the owner is Russian or not. But before recording, I would like to say from my previous video that a lot of people didn't like, for example, uh, because I recorded the video about Russian products, so uh, I just like to say that uh, the politics and the culture and the business are all different things. So why people mix between them? It's really funny because uh, uh, if I am buying Russian products, that's because I like them. Because I like halva, I like kazinak, I like uh, kvas and other stuff. Because the taste is good and I like to buy them. And when I found them here, I was very happy finding them. And that's why I bought them. And <laughs> if you are not happy with uh, something like uh, about Russia, it's not my problem because uh, it's business, it's not politics, it's uh, uh, buying products and uh, business is made by people. So if you don't support the Russian products, so you don't support the Russian people, that means you don't support regular people. I like uh, how they make in the entry uh, the picture of uh, Matryoshki. Matryoshki, those are dolls, Russian dolls. I hope uh, <laughs> everybody is fine with that. So let me enter the store and show you what's inside. You see, like everything is put like on the floor, on uh, boxes, uh, in boxes. <laughs> and <laughs> it's really fun to buy here. It's like a stock market. Unlike other stores where you see them putting the food in the beginning, here they put detergents and they have a lot of them different companies, not necessarily Russian, but with very good prices. And the quality, I think, is good. The price is good. And I don't think that the soap can be good or bad. The soap is a soap. That day I found alcohol, like technical alcohol, I didn't see before. I don't know where it's used. It costs about only two euro. Toilet paper and napkins only for half euro. This kind of napkins only for one euro. Those ones for one euro and fifty cents. It's so cheap. I'm <laughs> impressed. It's ten. Ten pieces for one euro and half. Just wow. In this part they were selling clothes. And as you see... People here are buying a lot of them, enough of them, and most of them are from Serbia, by the way, and I think the quality of the products is good here. I mean, some people were discussing the quality here. I mean, how we can discuss the quality of gloves? Those are gloves. I mean, if it's useful, we can buy it. And not everybody is rich. I support minimalism. And not everything is made by Russia here, like China, I see. Turkish products and different other countries. This one from Serbia as well. A lot of shoes they have here. I mean, the shoes are also good. Usually I buy such shoes. I have no issue with that and they serve me a long time. For example, these shoes, very warm and uh, I think it's a good quality and only for like 20 euro. These socks also like three of them for the price of one. I mean, in other stores you buy them for two euro, here you buy them for one euro and seventy cents. These sportive shoes, also I think is good. I would buy them if I need, why not? These black ones as well, not bad I would say. These chairs, you can put them on the balcony for example, also about three euro. Water, six liter for less than one euro, very cheap. Strawberry jam. I have seen the same jam in other stores. It costs about three euro here, about one euro and half. This kind of pasta is cheap, but we don't buy it because my wife say that it's uh, not that healthy. A lot of different spices, also good. I wouldn't say that the spices can be bad. 
this canned uh, tomato i don't think is bad also i like tomato is tomato i mean people talking about quality it's strange these uh, cookies are made from serbia and they are amazing i took two of them they are very healthy and very tasty at the same time these also peppers so they are canned i don't see the difference between these can peppers and others also cost about two euro these beans also the same brand by the way in other supermarkets it costs about two euro here like about one euro socks for my kid also less than one euro very cheap and the dear grechka it's amazing that they have it here grechka is back weed i think in english and we were very happy finding it here because it cost only about uh, uh, less than two euro uh, per uh, 800 uh, gram like one kilo almost the same like uh, Grieczka this one you find it in other stores for about 400 and uh, Russian people like Grieczka <laughs> Grieczka it's amazing um, and as you see the price here is much better I took six the same about olives also cheaper here I took one of these like for one euro these hummus also <laughs> always cheaper here also one euro uh, this ketchup also we use it usually also more expensive in other supermarkets here only for one euro like you take one liter these beans also we buy from time to time less than one euro uh, they cost about two euro in or other supermarkets this is wheat for only about half euro and usually uh, russian people use it for pastry for bread it's very healthy also it's called uh, pshinitsa in russian here also they call it pshinitsini or something like that this is also a big fridge by the way it's very cold and uh, all the products stay safe here that needs a fridge it's separated unlike in other stores so if you need a jacket you just put it or a hat and enter it these cookies are also very nice and tasty what reminds me of pryaniki in russian they look like them and they don't taste like them but it's good to buy them they give me the taste of nostalgia again i found this kvass here i didn't buy it because i like the other brand better Navasatsky. also the one that made by serbia by the way this is halva also <laughs> I always buy it it's made by Russia it's imported from Russia and you know I will buy it anyway so live with it there are also a lot of cookies uh, made by, by Russia for example this one this candy called Karovka and uh, this candy is the favorite candy of my mother and my mother is watching me and she would be very happy seeing me recording it vodka costs only about four euro here while it costs about like 10 euro in other stores i even suspect that they take products from here and just sell them in other stores those are sunflowers seeds very healthy by the way and we eat them a lot and in russia they eat them a lot also made by serbia by the way and i think the seeds are the seeds it doesn't matter the quality is good frozen peas as well a lot like big amount with very good price less than two euro this amount of almonds also about uh, three euro and half i mean it's good i don't think that the quality is bad if the same is sold in other stores so no matter what you say about this store and the products and the quality <laughs> if the price is good and affordable of course i will buy from here because i like the products here and as you see not that many russian products are here most of them are from other countries just a few russian products but in general they just called the store in russian and still you see some products with the same price just like in other stores like the beans 
This product, for example, made by Korea, so it's a Korean product, as you see. This is Roseberry, I think in English, uh, Malina in Russian, also a lot of it. Uh, it's, I mean, good for Russians. Cherries also, uh, big amount of cherries also. We make compote from it. Compote it's a good uh, drink from any kind of berries and sometimes they add fruits to it. Those are all the products I took. Those are toilet paper. This is Griechka, Griechka or Beckweed. And uh, uh, it doesn't matter where it made from. I will take it anyway. Uh, which country, I don't care. Uh, ketchup, I took this Praniki, I took uh, these uh, tasty Serbian uh, cookies, halva, my favorite halva, hummus also, and these beans, also jam for the kid, it's good, like pieces of strawberries, and socks as well. Sunflower seeds, also Russian people like them, 500 gram for 1 euro only, it's very cheap. That's it, I bought everything needed for my family from this store. It cost me only about 30 euro and it was really nice. I'm sure if I bought the same products from other supermarkets, it will cost about like 60 euro or 50 euro or something like that, really. That's it for this video. I am going by train home now and thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving especially positive comments and see you in my next videos. Goodbye.